Okay, now using Park Assist is very straightforward. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna hit this little P button, which is going to bring up a screen. We're gonna hit the Active Park Assist, which again, now we've got a couple of capabilities. We can either do parallel parking, perpendicular parking, or we've got parallel park out. So I don't have a place here to parallel park, but the process is gonna work the same. We're gonna do perpendicular parking. By default, the vehicle is gonna look on the right-hand side. So by, her, by hitting the turn signal, we're gonna go left and it's going to look on the left-hand side. That's going to be the same whether we're doing parallel or perpendicular parking. And then all we're gonna do is follow the messages on the screen. So we're gonna start driving forward. Just make sure you watch the screen. Okay, there we go. And what we're gonna do now, so we're gonna shift into neutral, and it wants us to hold the P button. So this P button, we're just gonna hold that. We're gonna release the brake and press and hold the P button now. Now the spot that it's taking me to, definitely not a parking spot right now, but for all intents and purposes, it's at least going to give us the ability to see what it's like. Now, one thing to point out is that we've got a little countdown timer that's going here. So that's going to give us the ability, oh, what's this guy doing? There we go, perfect. So that little countdown essentially lets us know how long the vehicle's taking in between individual steps. And it's going to take just another second here. Oh, interesting. We introduced an obstacle and it responded beautifully to the obstacle. Very, very neat. I didn't think I was going to do that. And then as you can see, we are now done. So a couple things to point out. It had an oncoming obstacle and it still reacted. I love it. I absolutely love the fact that it did that. But that's the way that we use the park assist feature. So really, really simple.